It's week five of the NFL, and we'll see Baker Mayfield. He comes in fourth in the league in passing this year. It's the Bucks and the Falcons on Thursday night primetime. Near fees from where the Georgia Dome stood and the Falcons played for a quarter century. We're looking at the team's home since the 2017 season. Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. And just like that, the season has reached October. Joined by Brock Hewer up here in the booth, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, I don't know about you, but I always feel like the smells start to change in October. Just It just really starts to smell like fall, smell like football, second month of the regular season. And these next few games take on a greater importance moving forward. And I love this stretch of games because it makes a lot of teams contenders and a bunch of the other sellers as the trade deadline arrives here at the end. The ball is teed up. Chase McLaughlin to do the honors. And we're underway in Atlanta. On the return, here's Ray Ray McLeod. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So out here the Falcons for their first possession. They're led out by a QB who made his starting debut all the way back in 2012. You weren't so playing the great Bronx. He's had plenty of touchdowns since then. It's Kirk Cousins. Well over a decade has started in this league, and Kirk Cousins put up some prolific numbers. The thing that's eluded him, despite all the stats, are those playoff opportunities and those marquee postseason games. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Well, this one's certainly off to an exciting start, partner. Hopefully this is the type of energy we're going to see the whole way today. Defensive coaches, Kate, love to say, steal a possession, steal a possession, find a way to steal a possession. Well, they stole it on the very first play, and now put their offense in the driver's seat. So here now are the Buccaneers on offense to begin their first drive. They are brought out by a former number one pick who always plays with energy and passion, Baker Mayfield. You really do love these moments as a quarterback, bouncing on that field, energized by what your defense just did. Giving you a gift, the turnover. It's a really optimal field position. Wouldn't it be rude, Kate, for them not to accept that gift and put an early lead up to really crush their opponent's spirit? Grabbed by Chris Godwin. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Second and three now. Here's Baker to throw. And what a risk, but he can't hang on. No interception, but nearly a turnover in the end zone. Well, as we see the names populating this injury report, partner, we recognize they've had to do some adjusting over the course of the season as key contributors have gone down. And this, right here, this is where fan favorites and surprise superstars are born, Kate, from guys having to step in as a result of these injuries. You never root for players to miss time and go down, but you always root for the guys filling in who are getting their shot to make their name and contribute when it really matters. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. And they won't do it. That ball's incomplete on fourth down. I think this defense was resigned to giving up three points on the opening series. Instead, well, they got the chance to deny them anything. And boy, did they ever attack it. Onto the field comes the Atlanta offense for the second time. And I'm sure they all got a stern lecture on ball security between possessions after they fumbled it away on their last series. On first and ten, it's Cousins. Into the hands of Pitts. And he's taken down here at the 16-yard line. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Here's Robinson up the middle. And he's brought down after a nice run and some extra effort. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. Staying with Robinson. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Give him eight yards on the play. And the Falcons will have a first. 
That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of the defense. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Call it nine yards. Looked like a first for a moment. It's second and one. Play action now for Cousins. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's out of bounds after getting this one to the opposing 45-yard line. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. Dump off complete to his running back. And the defense waiting for him at the line, and he goes down. You know, I, I've learned over the years, defensively, they call that the camera club. How many different guys can you get rallying to the football? So that last shot you see on camera, you see as many defenders. He's got it complete. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons go up 6-0 here in the first. So brought this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset even in early in the game that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Young Hui Ku on for the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Out to kick it away. Here's Pinion. Set to return this. Trey Palmer. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Tampa Bay sending its offense out. Their second drive coming up. They passed on the field goal, didn't get it on fourth down. Interested to see what they do if a similar situation arises on this next possession. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. A look at his numbers on the ground from last week here. Second down now, seven to go. Mayfield with a blitz coming. That's complete, Mike Evans. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. It's a 21-yard gain. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. One of the tight ends in motion left. Mayfield on first and ten. On target to Godwin. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 46. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. throwing again. Oh, he lost the football. And the fumble recovery is made. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but across the line there, that earns the holding penalty. Third long for him here. On the move, headed he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the defense comes through, and that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Awareness. That's what I call it, game awareness. You've got to have a game awareness and understand the situation. Third and long, you should never take a sack. Put the ball in play or throw it away. Don't take a sack in that situation. Bucks ready to send it away on fourth as Jake Camardo runs on to punt it. He punted three times in the win last week, and this one is away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And the Falcons will 
will have plenty of work to do on their next drive. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. Got a man over the middle, complete. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. They've got first down from the 31. Shotgun snap, a gift to Robinson. And they limit this to a minimal gain to around the 34. Give them a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. So the officials are officially on board tonight. For the first time, a flag flies. Somebody moved Ball early. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump. And, well, they got one of them to move that time. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Out of the gun, Cousins. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Looking to throw, Cousins. Able to hit Robinson, complete. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. I'm a big fan of the screen pass. Really, you could run a screen as they just showed on any play. First, second, third down, sometimes even fourth. But it takes great acumen, a great football IQ defensively to have an awareness it's coming, and then more importantly, to stop it. He signals for the fair catch and brings it in. That punt goes unanswered, no return there. And they're going to take over possession. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Godwin, the man in motion left. First and ten. Here's Mayfield. Finds his man. It's Godwin. And he'll have it up to about the 23-yard line on the play. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Up the middle. Here goes White. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. They needed to single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. Some early movement on the left side there, but was he the first to go, or was he provoked? One of the most common penalties in the sport, and the reaction, it's the same every time, brought frustration from the coach as they get back up five yards. Third down, here's Mayfield. He's on the move. Oh, he's gonna run for it! That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for a QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Able to hit Palmer, complete. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Holding offense. So the refs get him for holding, and that's going to back this offense up. They'll run here following the penalty. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Baker now from the gun. Down the middle, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept 
sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. First and 10, it's Mayfield. Hauled in by Godwin. Still has some space inside the 35. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. Receiver in motion, going left. First down, here's Baker. Looking right, and he brings it in. And he's tackled for no gain. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Working across the field, complete. A flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Holding offense. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. It's got to come back. Mayfield to throw again. That pass complete to McMillan. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but across the line there, that earns the holding penalty. They send the tight end in motion. Running it after the penalty. Breaks through, and he might break away. Down the sideline, past the 25. And he's going to haul it in for the Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers reach pay dirt for the first time this game. It's a Rashad White touchdown. There's time to chide him about poor tackling later, Brock. And I probably will. And you probably will. Coach probably will give him an earful about it as well. But let's not let the missed tackle take away from excellent effort he had on that run. Yeah, it really was his effort to force that missed tackle. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's the key. And open the door for that touchdown. As soon as he slipped that stop, his mind was focused on one thing and one thing only, the end zone. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. McLaughlin has it on the tee, and he's ready to send this fly. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Following the kick return, we've got somebody shaking up, so we're going to get a stoppage here as he's attended to. They're out and set, first and ten. Let's come in here, Cousins. Got a man, it's Drake London. And he's gonna go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. Now here's a look at his production from last week and the part he played in his offense's victory. Second and three now. To the air, Cousins. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Well, very quick throw, but they couldn't connect. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Now Cousins again. He beams one deep right side. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. That one intended for Drake London. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. They'll punt it away again. Bradley Pinion headed back out. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. We've arrived at the end of one on Thursday night. Both teams neck and neck so far.
We'll make our return to Mercedes-Benz Stadium after this. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Buccaneers football as we begin. They got this after forcing a punt at the end of one. Running quick there, and they bring it to the turf. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact. It gets home. But, of course, we know it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. All right, here we go. Second down. Try the right side with White. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This offense may want to try and disguise their run a little bit. I don't know if it's the old lineman's stance. I don't know if it's a cadence. I don't know what it is, but after two straight plays going backwards, this defense is all over. Third along, Mayfield. This one's taken in by Otten. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes, they so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. Fair catch called for and made at the 35-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Falcons will take over. Drive begins with a run. It's Robinson. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Holding offense. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Cousins. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Offense to the line for second down. Cousins out of the pistol here. Here's a quick throw, and it's caught on the slant. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Tight end motioning right. Throwing on third. Cousins. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. So no return on that punt. And it's going to be their football coming up. Here come the Bucks on offense now. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. Mayfield on first and ten. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. First and ten now from the 30. It's White on the give. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. From the 32. And he goes down. The Falcons got to him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. To get home and hit an impact quarterback at this level, well, typically you got to do what this defense is doing. And that's keeping an offense off balance. Change up your looks. Rotate your personnel. Throw in some wrinkles. And once again, go hit that quarterback. Complete beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Well, third and 15, you don't see many of those picked up, partner, but they found a way. 
That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Made the throw as he was getting hit block, and it's incomplete. Looking for Chris Godwin that time. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Out of the gun, White. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. Only a yard for him that time, so now third nine. Mayfield now from the gun. And that one's incomplete for now. He brings up fourth. Let's see what this penalty flag is all about. Tempting to perhaps take the yards and run third down again, partner. But they decline it. That's going to bring up fourth down. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And no chance at a return. He wisely angled it for the sideline and got it down to the 12 before going out. The Falcons ready for their next possession. And this certainly isn't the rut they want to be in, Brock. All of their drives have been ending in punts as of late. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Robinson on the inside give. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. And he takes it forward to the 12 for a small game. They'll get that yard back, but no more. It's third and 10. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. Ooh, it put some heat on that one, Brock, but it falls incomplete. Nearly an interception on that play. So that brings up fourth and long. The Falcons getting ready for the punt. It'll be Bradley Pinion doing the honors. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And they'll get ready to go on offense. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and 10. From the gun, Mayfield. Finds his man. It's Godwin. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Play fake, it's Mayfield. Got a man, Palmer has it. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. White trying this straight ahead. And it's charged towards the line. That's right around three yards. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. From the 39. Able to hit Palmer. Complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Oh, a little movement along the line there. That's going to cost the defense five yards. Defense. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. Still first down. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Baker now from the gun. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. And that makes it second down.
Here's Baker. On target to Godwin. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Coverage holds up, and he just had to get rid of it. So many coaches love third downs and practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know how to execute and convert on these third downs. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's going to break our tie and give him a three-point advantage. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. His return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Here's Cousins now. Along the sideline, and Pitts brings it in. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. First and 10 from the 41. A handoff for Robinson, running right. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. That offensive line and that O-line coach got to look at those pictures and figure something out because you cannot let a defensive tackle defeat your block at the point of attack or you're going to get a negative run time after time. Got a man. Robinson has it. And he goes out. Just needed one more step there to reach midfield. All plays on the table here for third and three. Out of the gun, Cousins. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. Man, did he make an impact play. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. First down throw for Cousins. And not a great choice on first down. It's incomplete, nearly intercepted, actually. So second down coming up. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. That's cut for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. It's the two-minute warning now from Atlanta. The Falcons facing a deficit near the break. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Now Cousins again. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons get some late points and the lead. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Coup on now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Out 
to kick it away. Here's Pinion. Starting from the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Tampa Bay are ready to head out to the field. And they brought out their kicker for a field goal, their last possession. It's time they'll look to bring him out for an extra point instead. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Drive starts with a carry by White. And he has enough room to gain about four. Buccaneers hustling to the line. They're in the hurry up. He'll get this complete to White. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. Third down. Here's Mayfield. Setting up the running back screen. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Prior to first down, they decide to call a timeout. To throw is Mayfield. It's into the hands of Wright. And this one doesn't go far. Buccaneers hustling to the line. They're in the hurry up. Quick hitter complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Tampa spends its second time out now. First and ten, it's Mayfield. Got him in over the middle, complete. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. And that time out taken by the Buccaneers, and that's their final one. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on a drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Still inches to go on third down. Mayfield to throw again. To the left sideline, complete. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. They'll come up first and 10. Motion man sent left. Baker throwing again. Incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's usually where we see holding calls. He got a major fistful of jersey on that play, and it's going to end up costing them. Mayfield now from the gun. He's got it near the 10. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. From the red zone now. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. At the end of two, in it win, and the Falcons really spreading their wings. They're out in front so far. Now we'll send you south to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But first, let's give everybody a look at what's coming up later this weekend around the NFL. Some great games on the docket for this first weekend in the next few days here in October. One being at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London. The early start between the Jets and the Vikings. It was a strong first half for the veteran quarterback, Kirk Cousins. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. With that, the two squads are headed out of the tunnel. So let's get you back out to K. Scott and Brock Ewell. All right, thank you, Coach, and we are back and about set to begin the second half. Now to kick it away, here's Pinion. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield ready for this next possession. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. First down, here's Baker. 
And he just tucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. So that play doesn't work out, but things make it even worse for them. Looks like one of their big guys out front is in need of a look from the training staff. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. The give now to White. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. He picks up 15 on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Again, this is White. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it will largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Here's second and seven. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. First and ten, here's Mayfield. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Baker now from the gun. Escapes the pocket. He's running for it. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Backed up now after the penalty. It's third down. Sending a receiver left. Here he is on third and long. That's Evans making the catch out right. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And he can't hurt you with the return if you just kick it out of bounds, right? This one flies out right around the 15-yard line. The Falcons and Kirk Cousins headed back out to the field now. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. He's got it to him yet again, that is caught. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Out of the gun, Cousins. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. First and 10 now from the 30. They'll run it with Bijan. That's a lane past the 45. Past the 35. Bijan Robinson. And he's in. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons push their lead further to start the half. It's a Bijan Robinson touchdown. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers. And what a big-time effort. That 
one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. His return starts at the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Buccaneer offense back out for another series. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Mayfield on first and ten. Falcons get it close, and they take it down! And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Not a lot of cornerbacks in this league can get to the QB in the pass rush, and not just once. That's now twice, Kate. They're going to have to devote some resources to block in this corner, because he's just a different kind of beast. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. From the gun, a run for White. And he's brought down after a short game. They pick up a single yard, still well behind the six for this third down. From the gun, Mayfield. Got Evans, it's complete. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. Never eat shredded wheat. North, east, south, and west, right, Kate? And I like on third downs, north and south. You start going east to west and eating that wheat, you could run into problems just like that. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Fair catch the signal, and he brings it in at the 23. No return on that punt. And it'll be their football. The Falcons and running back B. John Robinson getting set to begin another drive. And as some running lanes have closed, he's just found some new ones. Continuing to hit this defense. More good numbers well into this second half. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. From the 29. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be up. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. That's a pickup of nine. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. First and 10, are under Robinson. And he's charged towards the line. That's right around three yards. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. From the 41, it's into the hands of Mooney. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And the Falcons will have a first. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. Finds his target, Robinson. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's again at 27 yards to move the chains. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Now Cousins again. Looking touchdown, but can't connect. 
Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And it'll be third and five coming up. Trying to throw here out of the gun. The Buccaneers get there and bring him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm, get the QB off his spot. It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that extends their lead to 14. That's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Buccaneers are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Down the middle, complete. And he's going to go down right along midfield stripe. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. They run the counter with White. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. Well, no spring in a big play on that one. It's just going to simply be used as a setup play, whether that's another run or eventually what I love, setting up a play-action pass off that counter action. This one's taken in by Otten. And a solid gain there. Gets him across the 45 before he goes out. Third and four coming up now. They motion the tight end over. Baker now off to play fake. This finds Evans complete. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. It's a four-yard gain, and that's going to get him across the marker and earn the first. Mayfield now from the gun. Ooh, he misfired on that one. It's behind his man. Hey, I know nobody's perfect. And all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. Second down. He feel the pass. He finds his running back. Nice work. Complete. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Now, hang on. Looks like somebody came out after that play, a little shaken up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. They'll send him over right. Third down. Here's Mayfield. Finds his man. It's Godwin. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Falcons returning their offense in this running back to the field. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. And unsurprisingly, Brock, a great day on the scoreboard so far for him. Has him with the advantage as we move through this third quarter. And that's incomplete. A little lucky there, too. Nearly picked off on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call.
throwing his cousins. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find a throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Now it's Cousins. This one's hauled in on the left side. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Punt team on, and they'll send this one away. Takes it in at the 26. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Buccaneers and receiver Mike Evans headed back out. And I think by this point, we can all agree, Brock, that he is not going to be stopped until the clock stops at the end of this game. He just continues to make catches count in this second half. First down, here's Baker. On target to Godwin. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Baker now from the gun. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Short pass caught by his tight end. A flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. We've reached the end of the third quarter on this Thursday night. It's Buccaneer football. They trail, but it's still within reach for them. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Mayfield to throw again. Got his target. It's Otten. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Baker throwing again. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage of this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. It's fielded at the 14. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The home teams and this running back headed back out for a new series. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. They're out and set, first and ten. From the gun, it's Robinson. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. They had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. First and ten. Here's Cousins. Along the sideline, and Pitts brings it in. And he's out of bounds after pushing just past the 40. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. Well, that one came with a high degree of difficulty. Had to balance focusing on the catch, keeping those feet in bounds. Out of the gun, Cousins. 
Over the middle, caught. Complete pass. And they make the tackle at the 38. That's 16 on the pickup. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. New set of downs for him at the 38. On first and 10, it's Cousins. Throw reeled in by London. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now Cousins again. Short pass caught by his tight end. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. The Buccaneers at another DB. Third down coming up. Shotgun snap. A give to Robinson. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Throwing on third, Cousins. Complete beyond the marker. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They pick up 20 yards there. And the Falcons will have a first. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. From the red zone now. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Couldn't find Kyle Pitts on that throw. So now it's going to be third and long. To the air, Cousins. That one's complete to London. And he's got it inside the 15 before going out. There's no negatives ever on a grade sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that extends their lead to 14. Those three points could go a long way to securing this W. Makes it a lot more comfortable knowing the other side's got to score a couple touchdowns now. A touchdown to field goals, not going to get it done anymore. Starting from the five. And look at this return. They track him down, but a nice return in the end there, Brock. He's up to the 38. Now the Buccaneers set to take the field. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. First and ten, it's Mayfield. This finds Evans, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 24 on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Slot man in motion left. First and 10. Here's Mayfield. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Godwin, the man in motion left. Throwing again is Baker. Hauled in by Godwin. And they take him down right along the 30. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. From the gun, Mayfield. Able to hit Palmer, complete. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. Mayfield now from the gun. 
It's into the hands of White. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. You know, these running backs today, they are so versatile. It doesn't matter if they're running it, or in this case, same principle applies on routes out of the backfield. You don't get somebody close to him, that throw is headed his way. Throws off the rip, but it's incomplete. Well, that's not the uniform you want to see almost bringing it in. They are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. Third down run from White. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. They find seven yards, and now they've got first and goal. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost, and he busts those tackles. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seven. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. No place to go, so he just threw it away. So now, here's third and goal. Baker now from the gun. He's got it. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, you do it through training camp, you do it in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. Evans, the motion man here. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. And they take this in for the score. The Buccaneers now within one score in the fourth. Baker Mayfield, the touchdown. Well, Brock, not the way I imagine it was designed there on fourth and goal, but I don't think these coaches cared how he got the job done. Just make sure you get in for six. Yeah, really just two options here as the game speeds up down there, right? Find a throwing lane and execute quickly, or you better escape and make it happen with your legs. Mm -hmm. He didn't get the throwing lane, the coverage he wanted. It's a great decision. You cannot hesitate. You got to go for it. And he sure did and use that athleticism for six. I always say about the NFL game, it's a game of matchups. And that time, they get the matchup they want, and they go right to it. It's a risky call throwing it for two, but that risk pays off. So here's the kickoff, Brock. Just six points now separating our teams. His return starts at the five. Find some space. He's past the 30. Some good work on that return. Brock gets this up to the 33. The home teams headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. Ball at the 33 for first down. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year's over. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, they're not open very long, and it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. And no luck there, and that throw falls to the ground. A good defensive play breaks that one up. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Here's Cousins now. He gets a lot behind one. Deep downfield. That one's caught at the 10-yard line. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. I try to remind you a time or two, Kate, that you always got to start your read from the secondary forward. You got to see what the safeties are doing. If you're going to throw a ball in the middle third deep downfield like that, you have to have tremendous awareness of where those safeties were. And the QB just nailed it. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. That one's incomplete in the end zone. Thought he had a touchdown there. It's second and goal. Here's Robinson up the middle. 
And they'll make this stop after a small push to the five. They only managed one on that carry. Now they're going to have third and goal from the five. Back to throw. Cousins. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. And that throw doesn't lead to six. And that forces them to fourth and goal. Young Hui Ku out for the field goal. Pressure hanging over this kick. Pretty easy kick here, Brock. Just 22 yards. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll make it a two-score game. It doesn't take a math major, Kate, to realize how important that field goal was. It's now a two-score game really late and puts them in the driver's seat to go and finish this thing with the win. Starting from the five. This return makes it up to the 25. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. One of the tight ends motioning right. Mayfield on first and ten. Got his target, it's Otten. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. First down, here's Baker. Rolling left, buying some time. Oh, look at this, here he goes. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. Mayfield to throw. Couldn't connect right side, it's incomplete. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. They motion a receiver left. Throwing again on second and ten. Mayfield. This ball's cut by Palmer. And that will not be enough for a first down. Third and short. Mayfield. That's cut for the first. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning left for him. We've got first and ten. He finds his running back. Nice work complete. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. That's the two-minute warning here from Atlanta. Buccaneers at a two-score deficit. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. Buccaneers hustling to the line. They're in the hurry up. Try and push it deep downfield. That's much too high and out of the end zone. Incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. And that leaves them with fourth and five. So for the third time tonight, they're going to bring him out for a field goal try. There's a 44-yard look from the right hand. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. His make there, they had to have that one. And it really does set up a judgment call down on the field. And this is where special teams coach and head coach are talking about game management. You've got three timeouts left, so you really can write either script you want. Onside kick or send it deep. Needed to try it, we all get it, but didn't work. Still now have those three timeouts to fall back on. They did need to try it, but I think there is a school of thought of, hey, also kick it deep with those three timeouts. So now, your defense can't give up a yard. Right now, you've really burdened your defense to get a quick stop, a quick stop, a quick stop, and make sure they do not give up any yardage to this opposing offense. Let's go defense. The Falcons in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Now the give for Bijan. And he takes it past midfield and starts the drive into Buccaneers territory. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. On second down, Robinson. And they'll hold him up after a short carry to the 44. Tampa spends its second timeout now. And they'll have just one left to burn now. 
Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Another carry for Robinson. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. And that timeout taken by the Buccaneers, and that's their final one. Back to throw it. Into traffic, complete. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. Final kneel down, and that should run out the clock. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So the Falcons are in the win in this one. And they draw first blood against a division rival. We're on the road later this year with a chance at completing that season sweep. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.